Hey guys, welcome to Step by Step Painting with Lincoln County Public Library for 2021. Today we're painting these really pretty snowflakes. Come join me. Okay guys, so what we're going to do first, I'm using an old canvas that I had used before and or had started before and didn't really finish the painting. So I'm going to cover that in blue and black. And because it's already dark gray, I won't need that much black. I'm going to add a little white to this and I'll be mixing different background colors as I go. And I want a little bit of this, but you know what? This is such thick jelly kind of paint. I'm just going to paint right out of the lid. Okay, so we'll start with the blue. We want to paint this color thin on top of this so that it dries pretty quickly. And you see how we're leaving little bits of the gray showing? That's because we're going to come in here with just a little bit of blue and black and maybe a touch of white to get that funny gray color and kind of bring that back out of the background. And we want to highlight some lighter, brighter color back in there too. Like maybe behind those sun clouds, there's a little, I mean snow clouds, there's a little bit of sunshine and blue sky. And we want it to look smooth, but we don't want it to blend completely into our darker color. There we go. Now we've got to let this dry just a little before we get started on our snowflakes. So this is a good time to rinse your brush and maybe empty your water because it'll already be that color. So now what I'm doing is I'm mixing a little blue and white to create a lighter blue and we want to find a brush that you can kind of flick like this and we're gonna wet it a little. Well, we don't mind if this is a little bit wet because we want to make spackly dots. And you're gonna get your finger all messed up and it's okay. You see how it's putting little dots all over this and probably all over things I don't want it to. But there's the light blue. Now we want to do this, but with white, just pure white. And now what we're going to do, we need to get our smallest brush that we feel most comfortable controlling. And so I'm gonna use this one and we're gonna start by painting the light blue. We're gonna start our snowflake with the light blue and then we'll go on top of it with the whites. So let's put this snowflake right in the middle and it's gonna be pretty big. You just want a good circle. And now we're gonna do a line up. It doesn't have to be perfect. No two snowflakes are the same. Line down. Thank you. 
There we go. Now we want to make shorter lines in between. Now we're going to do some little um, lines like this. Okay, now we're adding another little snowflake up here, and we'll put another one maybe over here somewhere. And this one won't have quite as much going on, maybe. It's smaller. And now we're going to come over here. Let's have one right there. And then wherever there's a point, I'm going to put a little dot. Now we've got two tiny ear snowflakes and one big snowflake. And we need to highlight it and make it look like snow with some whites. So now this is the part that makes it look like a snowflake. We'll start up here with this one. And it doesn't matter if the line goes all the way up and down. Just try and keep it as small as you possibly can. And it won't be perfect. There you go. And we'll do the big one next because I'll drag my hand through it otherwise. Now we need to get paint this little snowflake down here. Start at the center. And then this is a bunch of lines. And there you have it. You've got a snowy blizzard that you've painted in January with Step by Step Painting with the Library. I hope you enjoyed that.
I know I did. <laughs>